welcome to today's video and thank you so much for stopping by so today's video is going to be a little different and i'm super duper excited to do that because if you if you watched my previous video about home facial cleanup where i showed you how to do a facial cleanup at home and i shared with you so many tips and tricks that can really change your skincare game I mean, in that video, I shared with you that I'm super duper tanned right now because I went to India and went to a beach holiday there and I got tanned. And I wanted to get rid of this tan situation as soon as possible. So today I'm going to be bleaching my face for the first time. Yes, you heard me right. And also I'm going to review this uh, Fame Detan um, Cream bleach for you guys so yeah i'm super excited to do that so before starting i want to quickly mention a couple of things number one you should do a patch test at least 48 hours prior to this procedure i did it like uh, the day before yesterday and i do not have any allergic reaction i did it here on my arms so preferably you should do it on your arms or somewhere like here and if you have any reaction, allergic reaction or chemical reaction, you should not do this. Number two, do not step out in direct sunlight just after doing this procedure. Because bleach cream literally makes your skin tissue so tender and makes your skin sensitive. And direct sunlight can damage your skin, can cause breakouts, redness, rashes and whatnot. So always stay at home just after doing this procedure i personally prefer to do it in the evening because i know that there is no harsh sunlight or i'm not going out because if i even if i apply a thick layer of sunscreen there is no sunscreen that promises you to give like 100 percent protection sunscreen can protect your skin up to 97 98 or a maximum 99 percent so I know that my skin can be damaged if I go out under sun. So yeah, I like to do it in the evening. Number three, always follow the instructions carefully. Uh, you can have a manual or a sleeve that tells you everything, what to do and what not to always follow those instructions. Number four, you should not apply anything, any makeup, any cream, any face wash, anything on your face for about 10 hours just after doing this procedure so yeah that is that now let's get into the actual video so I have it here it is a 10 gram packaging and it costs around 40 rupees yes it is for 40 rupees but I'm sure you can get a bigger size as well but I got the smaller one because I wanted to try it first and see for myself that if I like it or not so let's open it so yeah here I have a manual or instructions whatever and then I have here a pre bleach cream so uh, we are supposed to apply it just before starting the procedure and here I have post bleach cream over here like we have to apply that after the procedure and here is the teeny mini bottle and it is activator powder activator and we have here our cream bleach right here so let's read the procedure so everything is written here in total seven languages including Hindi, Marathi, Kannada, Malayalam, Tamil, Telugu and Bengali. So you should not have any issues with the language. Now let's read the precaution. Number one, patch taste. Mix powder activator and cream for two minutes till the activator completely dissolves. Apply this mixture behind the ear. If it leads to excessive irritation you may be allergic to the product and I said it before right and precaution before use use plain water to wash your face kindly avoid application on inflamed chapped and irritated skin 
never mix the bleach cream and activator you need until sorry until you are ready to start treatment do not repeat use before 21 days use the a variant best suited for your skin okay do not use so for at least five hours after use do not expose your skin to sunlight after use hence it is advisable to use it in the evening and i mentioned it before do not save the mixed bleach for use so that is important so do not save the mixture if you are mixing it right now you have to use it right away so I will suggest you to buy the small small size, the small package here because that way you do not have to measure the ratio and stuff. Just take this, mix this and you are done. And also I forgot to mention that whenever you are doing this procedure, try to use a glass container or a plastic container. Never use a metal container. Never because metal container can cause some reactions that may be... I don't know. I, I personally think that will not be good for your skin. So now let's begin. Apply pre bleach cream on the bleaching area. Okay. Now here we have the pre bleach cream. And I also want to mention that I washed my face with my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. You can use any skin cleanser that you have. And make sure that there is no dirt, no oil, or no makeup residue whatsoever. So I have applied the pre bleach cream all over on my face and neck. Now, so using the same safe use spoon, spoon, okay there is a spatula or spoon kind of a thing like this little cute guy right here uh take one big spoon of cream and small spoon of activator and mix thoroughly now i do not have to measure because i want to use it all so i can just oh, take this okay there is a protectant shield or a cap which is good and here is the cream it's a very nice orangish kind of a color and I'm going to mix the activator so here I'm just mixing it all and then it says uh, using a spatula Apply the mixture on the area to be bleached. Avoid application of bleach around eye area. Okay, let's see. So let's just mix it thoroughly. You should mix it really nicely. And keep it for about two minutes before applying that way it will ensure that the activator and the bleach cream both are well mixed so yeah I'm going to keep it for two minutes before applying so it has been two minutes so I'm going to apply that bleach cream all over on my face and neck avoiding the eye area and if you have any active acne or any scarring due to razor or anything avoid that area okay so though it says that you should apply the cream with the spatula but you know I like to use my finger for that because this way I feel like I have more control and I do not want to bleach my eyebrow or any of my natural hair so I'm just using my finger for applying the cream. So here I have applied the uh, cream all over on my face and neck and I still have a lot left and I'm going to apply it on my arms as well and I have to keep it for like 15 minutes so yeah see you in 15 minutes. So guys I am back and I know that it's uh, not been like 15 minutes it's only for like 5 minutes 
but i really want to say that i am having a very mild tingling sensation all over on my face and neck and it is said that this uh, mild tingling sensation is really normal but if, if it's like too much for you then you can wash it off but yeah i'm having that sensation let's see what happens and if i wash off my face before 15 minutes i will let you know and if i do not have to wash my face then see you in 15 minutes well, guys i'm back and it has been 15 minutes now now it says that uh remove using cold water and pat dry then apply the post bridge cream and massage gently till it is completely absorbed so yeah i'm going to remove it with cold water and i'll be back so here I have washed my face and I have pat dried it with a towel and now I'm going to apply the post bleach cream. It is a pretty white kind of a cream. Now let's just start applying it. So the post beach cream it has a very nice cooling sensation and a very nice soothing effect as if you were applying cucumber or any facial mist it's so so cooling and so soothing you know so yeah i have applied uh, this post cream post bleach cream all over on my face and neck so here is the end result can you guys see any difference? I mean, you you be the judge and tell me if you can see any difference or not. For me personally, I can totally see a noticeable difference in this area or my forehead region. It seems to be a little brighter and my neck area is pretty much the same and this area may be a little brighter not not too much so yeah here is the final result now let me sum up everything for you number one does it remove tan which it promises to do for me like yes it removes your tan to some extent it's not like too crazy like I'm applying the bleach cream and like 60% or 70% of my tan situation is gone. No, it doesn't do that. But it definitely does remove your tan. Say about 30 to 40%. So yeah, it does remove your tan to some extent. Does it cause any irritation for me personally? No, it doesn't. At first, I felt a very tingling sensation which is completely normal and I kept it for about 15 minutes and there is no tingling sensation or whatsoever. Do I recommend this product? Of course, I recommend you. If you want to bleach your face, you can give it a shot because this is more on the safe side than any bleaching product in the market so this is more on the safe side if you want to bleach you can definitely give it a shot but do not expect too much like if you're expecting like your 90% or 80% tan will be gone then no it doesn't do that but it does lighten your skin to to just a bit you know so do not expect too much will i use this product again so my answer is which I have gathered from my research that you should not use a bleach like in every month or every week. You should apply a bleach on your face in like three months or six months or if you have any special occasion. Uh, so I'm not going to use this bleach cream until or unless I am extremely tanned again. So if I go to a beach holiday and if I am super duper tanned, then probably I will use this bleach again, but on a day to day basis or on a like regular cycle, no, I'm not going to use it. 
but if you like bleaching your face then you can totally do that but i'm not into bleaching as i said earlier so i'm not gonna use that again so that is all i had for this video for you guys i hope you enjoyed if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and please take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you find any video of any youtuber helpful then please take a moment to subscribe to their channel as well because it means the whole world to us and it inspires us a lot you know so please please subscribe to my channel as well as their channels and if you're not following me on facebook instagram and twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please do check that out so see you in my next video till then bye and take care